U.S. Labor Department says about 6 in 10 workers earning a minimum wage are employed in the service industry, such as food preparation and hospitality. Now, many of those workers are employed in San Diego, and contrary to popular belief, minimum wage workers in California are not mostly teenagers, but rather adults and women with families living below the poverty line. This year, 21 states will pay their workers more than the federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour, while California's lowest hourly wage goes up an additional dollar to 9 bucks an hour. For a full-time worker, that breaks down to $360 a week, or $18,720 a year before taxes. Economists say the living wage hasn't kept up with the cost of living for the past 40 years. It still takes an average of two and a half full-time jobs for a minimum wage earner in California to afford a decent two-bedroom apartment. The study from the National Low-Income Housing Coalition shows a worker has to put in 130 hours a week to do just that. Last week, state lawmakers rejected a bill to boost the minimum wage to 13 bucks an hour, but it will go up again to $10 an hour in 2016. Dwayne Brown, KPBS News.